Hello, my name is Gustavo Sosa, and welcome to another video from ST Microelectronics. This is the second part of using how our button is clicked at interactions. At part one, the UI was generated. In this video, we'll continue with the implementation at Cube ID. After generation, open the project folder location from the folder icon at the bottom right. Navigate to the STM32 Cube ID folder and open the Cube ID project. At Cube ID, open the ICI file. This could be done with CubeMX2. At the dialog box, select Continue, so CubeMX project is not updated. We will add the GPIO for the push button. It is at PC13. We will look for it with Search. Click on the pin and we'll select GPIO Output if will be by polling or GPIO XT if I interrupt. We will select XT, so no need to come back and reconfigure the GPIO. We need to go to the Interrupt Vector Controller, NVIC, and activate PC13 Interrupt. It is Vector XT 15 to 10. Now we generate code by saving the file. Here is the code generated for PC13. So the Howard button can be used, we need to add its controller. We will need to add some files. Click a new source file icon on the top. Confirm file location and name it. In this case, it's button controller CPP. Click at finish. At a new file, we'll add two methods, one for initialization, another to sample the button or key. These methods are requested and called by TouchFX. At sample, the GPIO is checked and returned if was pressed or not, with its related key number. We need to create a header file. Today, we will use an external text editor. The header file will have the methods and variables declaration. Save it at the core include path. Now we need to tell TouchFX to call the button method. Open TouchFX HAL CPP file, it is under TouchFX target. We will add the button controller header file, add a pointer to the controller. The button controller will be called. Save the file and compile. Click at the book icon on the top. At dialog, click switch. Go to Project Explorer tab and open the button controller source file CPP. Add a breakpoint inside sample method. Run the code by the run icon at the top or with F8. Every time we push the push button, the breakpoint is reached. Let's do the changes so now we'll be by the interrupt. Open main C file and at private variables define a flag. Look for user code 4, here the interrupt routine will be added. A flag is set, this flag will be checked by button controller. At the button controller source file, we'll add a flag and modify the sample method so now we'll check for the flag. Add the definition for the flag. Comment at init. At sample, modify to check only for the flag.
save the file, compile, go to the button controller source file and add a breakpoint inside sample method and debug. Click at the book icon on the top. At dialog, click switch. Run the code by the run icon at the top or with F8. Every time we push the push button, the breakpoint is reached. Here is the UI. The screen changes either with the hardware push button or the button at the screen. Thank you for watching.